So the big question here is can Eddie and Blaze not only outplay their opponents, but bring anything that Colton and Razor haven't seen hundreds of times in yeah. their reps together? Yeah, I mean, they have been practicing together relentlessly, religiously for over a year now. And uh, again, last season, one of the premier 2v2 duos out there just barely missing world finals. And there you go, Miner goes one tile outside to open. Caught by the guards either way. Lava Hound comes down for complexity. Double Lava. Lava both directions. Dark Prince picking up the Lumberjack. Inferno Tower easily handling that first push. Mega Minion playing up high to catch the Dark Prince. NATO to assist in a very nice, clean defense played by Dignitas. And a second late on the drop there. That is a slight miscommunication or a communication error that you'd think Complexity would not make. Well, it looks like Blaze was short on Elixir. You saw him kind of purse his lips at that drop, so that might have been hit. Uh, that might have been his play that was a second short. We haven't mentioned this yet, but the uh, the the new logos of Complexity, the Dallas Cowboy yeah. tie-in. Color change, logo change. Big fan. Big, yeah, big they, fan. they look great. And then, of course, Dig made a big shift over the offseason as well. Poison comes in, minor poison in, trying to get a lot of value. Lumberjack not actually in the poison, now is. So a decent push here from Dig, and now not much separating these two teams as we approach double elixir time. Yeah. So far showing that they can hang with the best, only 50 HP behind. Complexity up by about two elixir overall. And now they go to Lava the opposite lane. Interesting. And Dignitas follows suit. And a second Lava Hound from Complexity, and the same thing from Dignitas. So very interesting. You know, we have seen the, the doubling up on your big heavy push, having some challenges here. And at the moment, it looks like Complexity possibly getting the better of this exchange. And an interesting NATO there, you recognize it is to pull the units, the DPS units, off of the Lava Hound. However, it does allow a decent amount of damage to get in on that bottom right-hand tower. Wow, yeah, so now you have Dignitas ahead by nearly 500 HP, and they Lava up again. And this is going to be a tough one to defend. That Lumberjack should just make that Inferno Tower, it just chop it right down. Totally disappeared. NATO in trying to mitigate some of this push. It does get the pups far enough away that they don't get on tower. Poison does come down now. Yep, giving another good value poison to Dignitas. Playing very, very well, playing ahead of complexity at the moment. Prince just barely connects. So the battle taking place entirely on the right-hand side now. The guards are going to come down. There they are. Miner to the back of the tower. Lumberjack has to go back there, but another Lumberjack comes in from the top. That tornado, Snowball comes in just in time to keep the Lumberjack off tower, but then a 708. Now Dignitas very, very close to stealing game number one. Yeah, Complexity not able to keep up, not being able to put together a strong offense. You've noticed every single time here, Dignitas is able to play strong defense and create a big counter push, and they've also been winning the battles at the river. But now you see Dig slowing down a little bit here, maybe realizing they were behind on Elixir. Skeletons played in the middle, maybe to pull the Prince, but end up not really And the necessary. defensive Miner does not pick up the Miner to the inside, down to 3.07. So here we go, we're in a bit of a tower race. Up at the top, it is Complexity trying to get on tower down to 4.57. The poison oh. comes in. Dig is going to take game number one here against Complexity. What a way to start off this match. Call it what you want, beginner's luck maybe, but that was masterfully played by Dignitas. And I'm telling you right now, no one on Complexity's roster knows what just hit him.
Well, I mean, you really can't call that matchup because it was basically the same deck on both yeah, directions. I know. It, the battles at the river went towards Dignitas, the placement of their units. Uh, they just took better care of their DPS units and focused their fire on the DPS units of complexity. And wow, I, 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 I'm so impressed. Something kind of annoyed Razor there at the opening, so I wonder what that might have been. Interesting choice, Dig going back to Lava Hound one more time. You gotta wonder if Colton and Razor kind of put them on this deck. That Prince does not connect. Guards come down in time. A few baby dragon belches in on that left hand tower. Some easy, cheap defense. Complexity goes to Lava Hound as well. So here we go, guys. Let's run it back. Wednesday was Graveyards. Today is Lava Hounds. Previously, it was Royal Giants. It's almost like they're all thinking in the same mind. <laughs> so this time, the double lava is completely going to opposite sides. And very early on with the double lava pushes. Skeletons in to distract that Mega Minion. Now complexities will prevail. A lot of damage on the left-hand lane from the double lavas of Dignitas. Yeah. And while still doing some good work on the right-hand side, complexity not getting quite as much out of it, although these final lava pups doing some significant damage of their own. Yep, there we go. Now only about 300 HP behind. Both teams have a Mega Minion and Baby Dragon coming down the lane. Couple entering, belches in from both. Entering double extra time, Andrew. This is not the match I don't think anyone expected in 2v2. Uh, no. I, I, not at all, Rich. And, and, and honestly, Dignitas is playing so well right now. Colton and Razor, it's as if they're going up against one of the most seasoned duos in the league. And nice going inside to, I guess, not even one of the three most popular spots. 169 down, so assuming that they have poison. Left hand tower down for complexity, of course. Looks like that right hand tower about to fall for Dignitas as goes. well. So we're going to be extending this game a little bit longer, folks. Miner comes in, Complexity does end up having it picked up. Dignitas doing a good job of keeping more damage off that left-hand tower. They are technically in the lead if they take down the left-hand tower. Or, I mean, excuse me, technically behind. So Dig choosing to go Miner this time, just get that tower down rather than spend a bunch of energy on spells. And I like the complexity ignored the miner. It's not worth trying to pick up at that point. It's only two hits in. There's so many spots to pick from. So here we go. 600-ish, 700 HP separating these two teams. We are in sudden death overtime. And that high lava ended up protecting the Mega Minion. And then the, me the high Mega Minion from Dignitas was not placed correctly, so the Lava Hound actually pulled aggro. And now complexity's Mega Minion still on the board. Attempted defensive minor pickup goes to the front. Instead, Complexity's minor went to the back. And if Complexity keeps the pressure up, Dignitas's counter pushes are going to keep coming towards the King Tower, going towards the Three Crown as opposed to the weaker tower on the right. And so now you see they can just exactly, they're going to drop a Lava Hound up front and use this counter push, create a bigger potential to take that tower. Because Dignitas is playing Complexity's ball game at this moment. And the lightning wow, gets in front of the lumberjack prince. in. Beautiful, beautiful timing on that lightning from Complexity. Stopped the prince from picking up the lumberjack. That is game in the books. We're going to number three. So double lava in game one goes to Dignitas. Double lava in game two to Complexity. Now we'll see if they just stick with the same or switch it up. Yeah, do they go back to the well one more time? We've seen essentially the same game twice. Eddie and Blaze got ahead early on the first time around. Razor and Colton controlled that second one. So they're going Lava. So do Eddie and Blaze go Lava a third time? Remind me to thank them for answering my questions so quickly later, Rich. Yeah, and here we go. And there we are, double Lava. And the clone! Very, There's the switch up. Very interesting. That Snowball plus NATO made that clone Completely insignificant. However, look at that Lumberjack on the tower. Lumberjack and with the garbage oh, wow. behind it. This is a ton of damage down to 699. You saw the clone played early. Usually when it's played that early, you're like, okay, I think I know exactly how to defend this. You saw them. They threw the snowball. They threw the NATO. 
but Dignitas did not let up, and wow, that was an amazing first assault. And that's three miners in a row that Dig has sent to that inside low spot, so gotta expect maybe the next one will go somewhere else, and Complexity trying to catch that next time it comes in. Yes, and at some point, ideally, Complexity would be able to activate their King Tower with a Snowball as opposed to a NATO in that spot. But Dignitas is doing a great job of throwing in that miner after the Snowball's out of cycle. So double lava right hand lane now. You gotta expect that they, they're they looking for that clone defense potentially. Another clone comes in. A very early, very strange yeah. clone this time. Not, not doing what they wanted there at all. Nato pulls it all together. There's a and miner Lumberjack. just going to town on the bottom right. Lumberjack yeah. down too. That is going to be tower down. That defense was not played well. An early and aggressive and honestly misplayed clone. It did not catch the units that it needed to, and it made very, very easy work and a waste of three elixir. And now Dignitas in a position where they really have to put some pressure on that left-hand tower, make sure they get it down. They have 50 seconds left to not kind of essentially give this game away. And this is where the experience of complexity comes into play. They, they took a beating on the very first exchange, and now you see them bouncing back and playing perfect Clash Royale. So Miner to the exact same spot one more time, and there they go playing the Snowball and the NATO, so maybe a bit of overspend to get that King Tower activation. But still in the lead here, getting poison value on the Baby Dragon, but it will not be enough to take out that tower. Yeah, Dignitas needs to pick things up really fast. 15 seconds left to get back in this. And, and it can't be done with a spell. They cannot get back around to poison in time, I do not believe. There you see the defensive miner go in. Miner gonna go to the back of the tower. And they went to the same spot again. And it's picked up very well by Complexity. And that is where the experience pays off. Complexity in three games after falling early in the first. A very good showing, a very impressive showing from Blaze and Eddie. This was one that Dignitas really had a hold of. They could have gone into King of the Hill with a lead in these sets. And now they have to go into King of the Hill, a set down again.